today is gonna be a very somewhat interesting day, I think. James kept us up uh, pretty much all night yesterday. Never fails that it's either one of the kids getting up in the middle of the night. There's just no full six hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep. It's pretty much impossible now. Today I am going to be tire shopping. Well, I kind of did that yesterday. We already figured out what's the deal. For my Denali, for four brand new tires, you're looking at a minimum of $1,500 if you want to shop for a brand that shipped with the truck, like Bridgestone, for example. A few of my friends told me Walmart has tires for 200 bucks, and then they charge you like 18 bucks to put them on. Give 200, give or take a few dollars. And then, of course, you could shop used. But I have a weird opportunity that uh, I was speaking with a few of my friends, my cousins with. When I got my Denali, it was $86,000 on the sticker. We had a special discount that got us to $73,000. I've been leasing this vehicle at that price. I still have another year left on my lease, but my trade-in value, take a listen to this, is worth more than what I owe on the vehicle. I don't know how often this happens. I'm gonna say not very often. If I can sell my vehicle, right, like do the payoff and sell it, or which, what I'm really trying to do, use the equity that I have in this vehicle. So for example, I owe 57,000 and change if I want to purchase my vehicle today. The trade in value, according to the research I've done and my cousin's research is a little over $70,000. So by the time I get the 70 and pay off the 57, I'm left with a little over $12,000 to do whatever I want. So my idea is to go to a few dealers today and see if we can pull something else out new because I need new tires, which is let's say 1500 on the cheap end. And then I gotta pay my payment soon, which is another 1200 bucks. Looking at like 2,700 bucks. So instead of paying 2,700 bucks, what if I trade this in to another vehicle they give me 12 grand, I pocket six, and now I have a 2023 Yukon Denali. We're gonna see if that's actually possible today because that's a really, really good opportunity. If you live in Publix and it's lunchtime, there's really only one option to get something. There's really only one option you want to eat for lunch. Hello. Here's the problem with me, guys. Right? I really love my truck. My SUV, whatever. So, trading this in is isn't really gonna be easy. I think that's sick, right? I didn't pick this, like, this was the only one they had in this color, but like, this really grew on me. Like, I can't imagine all this being the same color as the seats and everything else. Am I crazy? never seen someone load groceries into a Corvette. That's hilarious. Well, I mean the new Corvette. Did I ever mention that we got a new table? We can finally eat like human beings. So for the people that have a life watching this and don't watch YouTube only, if you did not know, Apple came out with a virtual reality headset. It's called eye vision or mixed reality vision. I'm gonna watch videos about it while I eat my lunch because I have no idea what it does. I just seen a picture of it yesterday. <laughs> Look who I got everybody. Look how far away James is. Hi James. Hi. It's too bright outside son. Is it too bright? I'm wearing all red. Got this red 
Diet Pepsi Wild Cherry. It's actually really good. Never had it before. I'm also wearing my new red Reeboks that I bought. Uh, I bought these for an Orlando trip that I was supposed to go on, but I don't think we're doing that anymore. So I'm just gonna wear them today. I spoke with a gentleman at the dealer where I got this vehicle and I explained to him the situation of how his dealer keeps calling me and leaving voicemails, emails saying that they want the truck back and uh, I would like to come in and see what they can do. And he told me that uh, they don't have anything right now. There's nothing available, which is the norm. It's like very hard to get these cars for some reason in today's day and age, they're like very rare. But at the same time, he did not sound like he was interested in this transaction at all, which is weird because I got this car 29 months ago. You would think that being a repeat customer, doing more business with the establishment would make you like really hyped up and like, I don't know, it's, it didn't sound, it sounded like to me, he thought I was crazy. I'm not the one making up the numbers. I told him how much I owe on the vehicle. I owe 57 on the cars from your dealership. <laughs> he didn't sound like really interested in what I was saying. So, I mean, the dealer that he works at is clearly interested. So I don't know what that's about. I think they just want to terminate my lease, possibly even make me pay a fee, like get as much money as they could. And then they could just turn around and sell it, of course, and do something else with the car, lease it again, finance it to someone else. Where's the little baby's bottle? Uh, I fed him downstairs, so it should be downstairs Where? somewhere. Where? Where did you the feed him? I fed him on the chair, oh. so on the table. Maybe I'm one of the end tables where the lamps are. My plan is to go two or three dealers today, check out what's available, check out what they have. And if we could get 70 for my vehicle, and we do that lease termination. I mean, I don't see why not. I, I think this is an opportunity of a lifetime. I think it makes no sense not doing this. I think it's crazy to spend like three grand right now. Like, let's say I don't get money back, right? Let's say it's just an even trade. Here's my car. Now I get a new one with new tires on it. I'm not losing anything. At the end of this lease, I'll either gonna finance the rest of this off if it's not too expensive or lease another vehicle. So I'm not losing anything, I don't think. I mean, the only downside I could think of is I'm putting myself in another contract of having a vehicle for so many years, but I need the vehicle. So it's not like I could go get a small Cadillac uh, CTS-V right now. I got four children, so yeah. Sit in there. In here. Yes. I got the kids. Does the seat go back? Why was it all forward? Because how chauffeur was probably driving it. It's too small. I personally think this is too much. The screen is gorgeous, this but the beige, this, this right here, this white. right here. This isn't beige. This, this is this whatever different. color. I'm not talking about the color. I'm talking about me fitting in. This, my leg is hitting this. There's nowhere for me to rest my leg when I'm giving gas. I, I just feel like this is small in comparison to my truck. Well, I'm telling you right now, truck is gorgeous. I wonder how much is this. It's pretty one? dirty. Yeah, we could tell them that. Cars don't even have that. Fellas, this car is a freaking joke. It is huge. I know what this is. I just sat in it. I just looked in the back seat. It's basically the Escalade EXT all over again. I get a medium ice macchiato. Look who I have. Hi, Taylor. Hi. I love you, daughter. And can you add an extra shot of espresso? <laughs> Did you upload the vlog Thank yet? Where I, yes. Where I was making, where I was holding the phone and I said we're going. Yeah, it's on. We got the Benihana hamburger <laughs> flipper. 
can't find tongs anywhere, so I'm going to have to do everything with this. But if we got our fire started, thank you Jesus. Uh, I came here because my family all packed for a vacation. And they packed like they was going to leave for a year. And then they changed their mind. So all the stuff is like all over the house, like real bad. Like this is the worst I ever seen in our house. And our house has been pretty bad before. Instead of staying home in the dirt and my son's not able to walk around or do anything because of how much dangerous stuff is all over, I figured I'll come over here. I just got paid off a job. I'll make everybody a barbecue. Backfire, my mommy said, let me go to the store with you. And then she ended up paying for everything. Like I didn't want her to do that. But she was making a ride. I said, no, mommy, please. God bless you, mommy. No, 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 no. Don't you say no to your mommy. Thank you, mommy. God bless you. So, can I have a little barbecue? Hang out. And then when it gets nighttime. Ooh. Do you guys see this little spider that's like trying to follow me? Pretty ugly. But you, why do I want a spider on my neck right now, Mr. Spider? You think because my son watches Spidey and his amazing friends that I want you on my head right now? I'll take a pass. Oh, there's a lot of them. Cute. Anyways, uh, enjoy a little view from my grandfather's house. Anyways, we went to the dealer. Look how wobbly I can't get the camera a good angle. We went to the dealer and I explained to the gentleman our options and everything. He was a lot more happier to see me in person <laughs> than he was on the phone. We talked over numbers and stuff like that. Unfortunately, there's no vehicles that they have in stock, even if I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Lena wanted to see the Escalade, which you guys, I don't know if I put that clip in yet. Probably. Uh, we've seen the Escalade. The Escalade was nice because it's an Escalade. Like, I don't know how else to phrase it, it's a $120,000 truck. There's not a lot of ugly $120,000 trucks. But the problem is you would have to finance it. It's a 2021 Hughes. I don't even know how many miles. And to finance it would be up to like $1,900 a month for 72 months. That is not something I'm interested in doing right now at this time or for any time at all, really. eighteen to $1,900 bucks a month for Escalade is... See, the problem is, like, if you want an Escalade, yes, of course, it's worth it to you. I don't want an Escalade. I had an Escalade, like, most of my life, and they stopped making the pickup, so, like, I don't want to be Escalade driver anymore because, like, I only liked Escalades when they had the pickup truck. The Hummer pickup truck, now that's something that I would get if it wasn't electric. Uh, well, if I had somewhere to charge it, yeah. 1200 a month, I think, is already a big payment on an SUV, so... I like my truck, I'm gonna keep it. And then uh, I talked with the gentleman, probably gonna place an order to have a vehicle ready. So that way when this lease is up, I could go ahead and get another lease. Uh, and I could build the whole car from scratch, which is awesome. So I'll probably end up making a charcoal gray, or I guess a white Denali. I would love to get another satin steel, but I know everybody's going to have an issue with that. <laughs> Probably get a white one. And then Lena said, let's try to get a different color interior this time instead of black. So brown, white, beige, there's a lot of options, especially if we get to build and like we could pick anything we want, like realistically. I don't know how many options there is on the website, but we'll figure it out. We'll try. And then I got to leave a $1,000 deposit until the vehicle gets there. He said, but the deposit, if you back out you don't want the car no more you decide to keep your car finance yours off then it's you get your thousand dollars back so i definitely can't say he's lying that you have to put an order in for a vehicle now even though my lease is up in a year because there's a year waiting list on like every car that's ridiculous i thought when i got my car it was just like a phase that they was going through because they was building ventilators instead of cars or something <laughs> whatever it was and i thought that they just like the chip shortage all that nonsense i didn't think that the cars would still be backed up a year that's like a little overdone
Before you guys ask why am I wearing jeans, the plan wasn't c to come here and make barbecue today. The plan was go to a dealer, trade in my car, get another car, take my family somewhere to eat, and then go home, probably go to casino. Plan wasn't don't get a car today. Okay, do this, do that. Go check on my mummy and guess what's make barbecue on their barbecue pit. That wasn't the plan. Okay. Yee! Not bad. Just little hot dogs. Just finished up the knishes, the cheeseburgers. Everybody's in the house, fixing everything, getting ready. The deacon's coming over. <laughs> it's so weird to say that. I never thought a cousin of mine would be a deacon in a church. But yeah, deacon's coming over. I think one of his brothers. Just hang out, eat, crack up, maybe watch a little TV with everybody, put a game show on or something, laugh, joke. I'm starving, by the way. Show character intro. Jay Fabulous.